I'm excited to be here today because we're at Baker School and we're celebrating Read Across America. We're trying to motivate, excite the children to be readers. We want all of our students to read, read a book a day if necessary or at least weekly and we're trying to get the community to encourage our students to read. Reading was my way out. I, I have an example. My sisters and I lived in the South, in the segregated South, and we loved reading. We read all the time, even when we were supposed to be sleeping. We would turn the light on and leave it on and Dad would come in and we'd quickly get up and uh, pretend like we were asleep because the books were open, but he'd come in and turn the lights out. But we read all the time. We had library passes and we'd read to it each other when we couldn't read and then later we were reading, all of us were reading separately. So we love reading. It afforded us the opportunity. My two sisters and I all went to Duke University and the fourth sister went to Norfolk State. So we all got our bachelor's degrees, even though our mother was unable to finish high school because of poverty. But she wanted all of her girls, all of her children to go to school. So reading was our passport out and I know that it can be the same thing for all of our children. I would like to say one other thing. If you're seeing me now, please, please get involved and help our children. If you have a child in the neighborhood, go to the little libraries that we have in the neighborhood. Just read whatever it is. Encourage our children to read. I appreciate that. I believe this is either my second or third time here this year. We were here when you had your Maker's Lab open, and now we're here for what? What is the purpose today? Somebody tell me, just yell out, why are we here today? <laughs> reading, yes, reading across America. Reading, how many of you like to read? I should see every hand, ah, yes. Reading helps all of us. You heard the councilman talking about how reading helped him. It helped me also. I grew up in the segregated South, which means that only black children could go to school together and only white children could go to school together. We could not mix. They did not want us mixing. I went away to college and that's when I was in, integrated in school. But it all happened because my sisters and I, we love to read. 